And I want to make one very simple point here. If you do not know a person who is appealing to you for money, even if they are appealing to you for money in the name of the Lord, there is absolutely no biblical example or mandate for you to give to somebody that you don't know, don't have a relationship with. This was a person who had proven himself in their life. And, you know, you can get... You can get mail appeals, you can get radio or television appeals, people trying to put a guilt thing on you to get you to give for the sake of the kingdom or to get you to give to their ministry. And it, number one, doesn't make any sense at all that God would ever use guilt to get people to do anything. I mean, let's think about it for a moment. God sent his son into the world to forgive people of sins and to remove their guilt. I can't imagine he'd say, okay, good, now that we got your guilt out of the way, let me add a little guilt and get you to give. And if you feel guilt coming your direction from something that a person is saying to you about money, I will tell you categorically, then something is wrong. That is a distortion. That is somebody hijacking a principle of the kingdom and using it for something that they feel that they need. And they might even be very sincere in their appeal. But when they're looking to you and trying to get you to give like you should or whatever, then something isn't the way that it is supposed to be. Now, That is why I say every single week when we take the offering, I'll always make some comment about if you're a guest or you don't know us, please don't think about giving to us. Uh, Sometimes I will even say things like, for all that you know, we're a front organization for a communist group that's trying to overthrow the government. And if you don't have a relationship with, with us as a church family and we haven't proven ourselves in your life and you give us money, I call that foolish And nowhere in the Bible says you're supposed to do that. So you don't have to give anything. Now, I will say this. For people who have understood the ways of God and realized just how much God is a giver, and they, in growing to be more and more like the Lord, become a giver as well, and there's a certain generosity that we're going to be looking at that is so wise, it's so life-giving to be a giver. And if you've already decided or you want to, yes, I want to be a giving person, and then there are appeals made to you by reputable organizations or Christian groups that you know that you can probably trust, it's wonderful for you to give to many other organizations. I'm not saying never give. I'm just saying don't give out of guilt. Give out of relationship or out of something that God has first worked in your life. And it's a lot more effective for you to give money to an agency that cares for orphans in Rwanda than for you to try to go there yourself and take the money. You see what I'm saying? 